In this video, I am going to show you the method of setting up a spherical binding. Draw an object to be bound. For example, let's draw some text. Click the center button to center the text. Fill it. Filling is to facilitate viewing the effect after binding. Choose a fill one, click enable, and then apply. The text has been filled. What's next? Enter the three-dimensional interface to do some settings. We can see that the text is still not bound. It is still a flat image. In the basic shapes, under the Z-axis binding category, we choose the sphere. Set these two parameters. Let's take a look at the example in the instructions. There is a simple explanation of how to set these two parameters. The diameter refers to the maximum diameter of the sphere. So we fill in the diameter of the sphere here. Assume the diameter of the sphere is 40. OK. Focal length refers to the focal length. It is the intersection of the laser to the surface of the sphere. This focal length value is given by the laser. Assume the focal length of the laser is 280. So we fill in 280. And apply. Now we can see the effect. The spherical binding operation is completed. Now, let me show you the difference between binding on a convex and a concave surface. We have found a convex surface binding. Choose a concave surface binding and click apply. Alright, let's see the effect of the concave surface binding. 